Hey everybody, it's Madison. I'm uh, just giving you this quick little video to show off a really cool program I like to use when I stream. And uh, I feel like it's a program, at least to me, I feel like it's not really known enough by other people. And I think it's an excellent microphone audio program that a lot of people should know about because a lot of people use programs like Voice Meter uh, that use a lot of like CPU and GPU power. And uh, I, I just really want to show off this program that I think is a really great alternative that I'm, I'm actually using right now. And it's this great program called uh, Equalizer APO. This is currently what I'm working with here. And what this is, is this is a, uh, an active program that's editing my microphone while I'm using it in real time through my computer. And when I say like editing the microphone, I mean it's genuinely like editing my microphone that's plugged in my my uh blue something this is some blue microphone <laughs> that i'm currently using it's not some voice meter program digital audio thing no this is my direct microphone and this program is affecting this with barely any cpu usage to basically make my microphone sound like this instead of instead of sounding like this which as you can hear isn't really good there's a lot of background noise, and genuinely, I would not want to listen to any stream or video with this type of audio, but then you just... And boom, I'm back. Now I sound good, clear, you can understand me. Like I said, this is not really using much CPU usage. Let's see how much I want to expose myself here with what's in my CPU. Aha, uh -huh, it is actively using... 26 megabytes of RAM and absolutely nothing else to make my microphone sound like this. Amazing. Absolutely love this program. And it's real simple to get. I, uh, I'm actually going to share with you in the uh, description of this video a link to Mediafire where you're able to download this program. This program is not mine. Um, I will credit the creator if I can find his information below for whatever reason I can't get onto his website I don't know if his website's down but for but that's where you can download it there is other websites like SourceForge that's not very safe in my opinion please do not download it from there because they try to install stuff you don't need into your computer unnecessary go to the link in the description download it there it's real easy and installs right away when you install it it'll pop up with um It'll kind of look like this. These won't be here. You're going to select this. It'll have you kind of install to devices. It'll it'll walk you through it. You'll select your capture device. And when you do, it is now in this chain. And you can add on to this chain to affect your mic. Now, you can actually use custom plugins that you would usually use with um, OBS. My favorite plugins to use are from the Reaper website, the Re Replugs. Uh, you can download them right here. I'll have a link in the description to the download. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna cough. <coughs> wow, sounded like I was dying there. I have a very dry throat right this moment. But anyway, if you download these, it will uh, prompt you to install all of these to a certain destination on your computer. All that does is make a folder of all the plugin files and when you do that, it allows you to, for example, add a plugin, which is my noise gate here. And this is a replug, replugs edition noise gate. And I'm currently using this to actively, you know, affect the background of my mic. So if I turn that off, I'm going to suddenly lose my noise gate and then my compressor. And then you're probably going to hear everything behind me. Um, now, this program does come with some filters, like this high-pass filter. I like to run it at like an 87 hertz, but it really matters in your voice. Um, but they, they have several types of filters. I prefer high-pass filter. I will be honest, this isn't really like an instruction video on how to set up your microphone. Everybody is specific. This is just my recommendation of a program to use and some filters to try. I personally like using the noise gate as well as the compressor um, but like i said it is entirely up to you whatever 
you know, whatever filters you want to use, there are several available. However, I will want to, I do want to show you how you order them does affect how the, the, the voice and how your audio sounds. So like, for example, if I, if I move noise gate to the last thing and loudness correction to the third thing, it's going to sound slightly different because this goes in a chain and you always got to remember it goes device first filter second filter third filter fourth filter and they're they're stacking and it changes your audio every time it goes through it and so if you want to ensure that the loudness correction happens at the very end then make sure you have it at the very end for something like a noise gate typically you're going to want that relatively first i like to do a high pass filter then my two primary gate my gate and my uh, compressor then my peaking filter and the loudness correction that's just my personal recommendation however like stated it is entirely different and you never know. There's all types of different plugins as well. If you have a cool plugin you like to use on OBS that works with this program, definitely drop a, a comment below about it. I think it'd be really cool to share it. But yeah, I, I definitely feel like this program doesn't get enough love. And I, I use it all the time. It barely uses any power on my computer. I think it sounds great. I'm sure there's a lot crazier stuff you can do. There's actually a, different tiles here. So you can have different audio configurations going at the same time. I'm not super into that. I just need my microphone running. <laughs> but uh, I really recommend checking this out if you have the time. Um, link in the description. And also, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like my stuff, my name is Madison. Definitely drop me a subscription. Like, hit that subscribe button or hit the like button. I appreciate it either way. Drop a comment if you like the video. And please uh, check out my Twitch channel. I, I stream. Um, I'm trying to just create a nice, friendly community for people to hang out. And I would love to, to meet you there and hang out sometime. And I try to stream in the evenings, Eastern time. So uh, you'll find my Twitch link in the description. Make sure to check that out as well. And I, uh, I just hope that you have a good one. And thank you again. All right.